headphones on because I hate just quietness so um, yeah okay so let's go ahead and get started I am going to start off by prepping my skin I've pretty much already cleansed my skin I just like to and I do this most of the time when I'm doing makeup when I'm doing makeup on other people I do this all the time but when I'm doing this on myself I'm super lazy when it comes to my makeup I pretty much do my makeup in the car most days um, but just to kind of show you what I would normally do to make sure that my complexion looks really really good is um, use some sort of like an exfoliator you just want to exfoliate get rid of any of that dead skin that's sitting on the surface ready to come off um, this is just like a gentle very gentle exfoliating pad this is from first aid beauty it's exfoliate but also help tone and uh, brighten the skin um, so today I'm going to be using the Ulrich Hendrickson Truth Serum and the Banana Bright Eye Cream. So I just like to squeeze on the palm of my hand about like two pumps. I get it all over the palms of both my hands and then you just want to kind of press this into the skin. Mm. And for eye cream, I'm using the Ulrich Hendrickson Banana Bright. It's important to use eye cream and um, moisturizers daily, especially if you're going to be doing makeup on someone else, like if you're a makeup artist, for example. Um, that is just going to make your makeup stay on a lot longer. It's just going to look so much better, and just trust me, it's going to help. For my moisturizer, I'm using my Pharmacy Honey Drop Moisturizer. I love this stuff. Um, I love the entire Pharmacy line. Um, and it just, it's so natural. That's what I love about it. Okay. I'm just gonna take a lip balm and apply that to my lips. Uh, just to kind of start off propping them before I apply any liquid lipstick or whatever I'm gonna use. Just so my lips don't look dry and they're all cracky. So for my primer, I'm going to be using the new Porefessional from Benefit. It is similar to the original. I think that the only difference here is that it is a little bit more glowy. So and it obviously has like a little pink, pink tint to it. And I'm just going to kind of focus this where I tend to have my largest pores. The trick with these is to just apply a really, really thin layer and you're really just kind of packing this into the pores. For my foundation, I'm going to be using my NARS Natural Radiant, I believe it's called, yeah, Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. To ensure that you don't get any texture on your skin, I would, I would use a clean brush, but I don't have one anywhere near me, but you should use a really clean brush. So I'm going to start off with about like three, four pumps. Always use less than what you think you're going to use, and then you can always add. If you're thinking that this foundation is a little too dark for me, I definitely agree. Not super, super dark, but it's a little bit more tan, but I don't mind the tan. I actually prefer it. Um, this is just, yeah, I think if I was to pick a different color, maybe a shade, one shade lighter. Um, I always do have to go in with a sponge because um, I'm just getting rid of any like brush marks or anything and making sure that I have like a really thin, even layer. I'm going to be taking my Cover FX Glitter Drops, I, maybe another drop, and then I'm just going to do... Maybe like equal amounts of the glitter drops. Make sure that it is blended and um, mixed really, really well. Um, and then with this, I'm just going to kind of hit all of the highest points of my face. So this is nice. It's still actually really subtle because I mixed it with my foundation. Um, but I love like the subtle glitter but it's actually really pretty, so I guess we'll focus on glitter today. 
Now for my concealer, I am not currently trying out any new concealers. This is just my usual NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Ginger. And we are just going to apply a small amount of this just under the eyes. And then I'm just going to go ahead and set the entire complexion with a um, setting powder. This one here is from Kat Von D. My face, now that my complexion is pretty much done, I obviously haven't applied any bronzer, blush, highlight, any of that, but I'm going to leave that till the end. Now let's move on to the eyes. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Eye Lip Primer. I'm going to be using my Anastasia Soft Glam Palette, which looks like this. You've all seen it. It's a beautiful palette. The colors in it are really pretty and wearable for most people. So the first color that I'm going to pick is, ooh, I'm going to be taking the first shade called Glistening. This one here, apply that to the inner corners of my eyes, kind of like this entire inner corner. So I kind of take my flat brush and blend it all the way up. I love to kind of highlight this entire area of my eye to make sure that I get lots of attention to that area and just brings the focus right to my eyes. Now I'm taking the color, let's go with a burnt orange. Bigger fluffy brush, this is the Pro Crease from Sephora. Always tap off any of the excess because we've already done the complexion and now we are just going to start to blend this right into the crease. Don't worry about the matte color sort of blending into the highlight color. Just try to kind of focus on, more on that outer corner. And then I'm just going to start to kind of push my eyeshadow out. So now I'm going to pick a little bit of Mulberry, which is this beautiful burgundy-ish color. I think this is a 217 MAC brush. It's just really old, so it looks tiny. Uh, so I'm going to use this to uh, pack that right into the outer crease of my eye. I have a little bit of burnt orange on this brush, so I'm just going to make sure that everything is really, really smooth. with mulberry just taking a flat brush and make sure i'm kind of make sure you pack the color on the outer no, outer half of the lid and with my 217 just make sure you blend it all really well i'm taking a little bit of burnt orange and i want to kind of blend burnt orange into like the middle of my lid so now it's a little bit of a smoother transition pick up this shade right here i'm actually just packing this on with my finger just because i don't want to get a lot of fallout i'm trying to blend that into the center of my lid and i'm just kind of packing this on So I'm actually going to wet my brush using my Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Spray and Setting Spray. Pick up the sultry shade and now I'm going to pack it on wet this time. I'm taking a little bit of glistening. I'm going to just apply it with my finger so just pick up a little bit of this shade. The first one that I used to apply right in the inner corner of my eye. Um, and I'm just pressing this right in the very center of my lid and with a small brush I'm just packing this onto my brow bone. I always leave my brows to the very end um, and then for the very center or inner corner of my eye since I already have a little bit of a highlight there but I just want to brighten it up a little bit more so I'm using the color bronze which makes no sense at all because that's clearly a gold um, and then I make sure I wet my brush because I want to get this really really bright and just slightly bring it up but not obviously all the way up 
going to focus on my lower lash line now. I'm taking a little bit of burnt orange and start kind of blending this on the lower lash line. With a small little brush, I'm taking Mulberry and just packing this as close to my lash line because I'm really going to blend this in and make this a pretty dark, smoky lower lash line. Okay, so I'm going to line my eyes using the new Stila. This, this is the micro point from Stila. This is so thin. Crazy. So I like to kind of create the wing with this, but to fill it in, I'm going to go in with the original. So with the micro point, you can kind of do little uh, detail work. And then taking a black pencil, waterproof black pencil, I'm just going to use this to tight line my eyes to make sure that I have a really, really black lash line. I just hate when you have like a super dramatic black wing liner and then you can see a little bit of like skin peeking through. So this kind of just makes sure that it's a really, really defined bl black liner. Now I'm going to apply some mascara. This is the Bad Gal Bang, Bad Gal Bang Mascara. Um, this one is a new one from Benefit I have not tried. I heard it has some sort of like, I don't know, something that... astronaut to use it's like anti-gravity so it's supposed to like not pull the lashes down you know. and then now for my lashes I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Sasha lashes Ooh. Sasha from Huda Beauty for my lashes so now that I have my lashes on they're still kind of drying in place but I'm going to move on to my eyebrows um, I don't like my brows to be super filled in most days, but since my eyes are a little bit heavier this time, I'm going to just slightly fill it in. I'm taking my brow waves and I'm just kind of just focus on the outer corner or the outer tail of my just putting a little bit of dimension inside my eyebrow. This is my favorite brow product. This is from Hourglass. It's called Arch. It's a brow volumizing fiber gel in the color dark brown. I really, really like this. I like um, to start off by kind of back combing. You're sort of just like adding the volume. downwards and then finally just start to smooth it up. I like it because it tints every little hair so it makes my brows look so much fuller than they actually are. Moving back over to my complexion, I'm going to be taking a little bit of the Makeup Forever finishing powder and I'm just going to smooth down my the center of my face. I start up in the center of my face and kind of just press this all over. I have another palette here that I really want to use. It's a newer palette from Urban Decay called Back Talk. For this, I'm not going to use any of the eyeshadows today. I'm just going to stick to the blushes and the highlights. I'm going to mix Double Take and Low Key and use those two as a blush. Oh shoot, that's a lot. Oh shoot. Kind of put way too much blush on or whatever I'll just have to redo it to this side now I'm gonna take a little bit of party foul and mix it in with low-key just because I want my highlighter to be a little bit less low-key and more highlighty so I'm gonna use this and highlight To contour, I'm using Los Cabos from Sephora Collection. Um, it's 
kind of just my everyday type of contour. And I'm just going to chisel up my cheekbones. I'm also going to contour my nose with this. I like to use bigger brushes as opposed to like the really tiny ones because I feel like I like it to look because the, the little tiny ones look really harsh and I want my line to look blurred so I like the bigger brushes for that. Now when I'm contouring I always kind of push my brush outwards first then I'll come down the side. And with the color Whirl from MAC I'm just going to kind of define the lip line. 